And this episode of Pen Point starts right now. This episode of Pen Point is brought to you by Midphase. Okay, so my book, I guess by the time this comes out, my book on Simon & Schuster will be out. It's called uh, God No, Signs You May Already Be an Atheist, and Other Magical Tales. That's the whole title of the book. And I'm really proud of it. It's a good book. I think it's got good, good stories in it, and I hope some good ideas. Um, but I'm going around now all the time. Like when we're dark from the Penn & Teller Theater here in Vegas, like Thursday and Friday, I'm doing like, you know, Pierce Morgan, if, you know, and I'm doing, uh, you know, Adam Carolla. I'll be doing Opie Anthony. I'll be doing Red Eye. Uh, I'm doing the LOD, Lawrence O'Donnell's show. Um, uh, doing all those MSNBC stuff and Fox and everything and you know just hawking hawking my book um, and uh, uh, so the first one of these I did was a thing called the talk which is a show on CBS that's uh, I guess you know in the same the same vein as the view I don't know which one came first but you know it's a you know definite article in and out and um, it's five five women I think uh, who sit around and, and talk about current events and women you can I you know identify with and one of the women uh, I don't know them all because I'm not really part of that kind of pop culture but one of the women on the show is Sharon Osbourne who's wonderful and I think I've met her a couple times and I just lo I love the whole Osbourne family I love Ozzy uh, I've met him I think once for just a handshake but I've certainly seen him perform a lot and uh, I just I just love the, the kind of rock and roll he does the way he kind of presides over it and uh, the children are great. I did the Miss America thing with uh, with with uh, the, the daughter, and I uh, didn't get to meet her, but I get to see her on work, and, and I enjoyed that very much. I dig her, and so I'm going on with Sharon Osbourne, and and though know, they didn't want to, they say backstage, "Well, your book is about atheism, but this is midday TV, and people don't normally think about atheism, so kind of stay away from the atheism of your book." Which is cool, you know, although I do think that America can handle in the marketplace of ideas, ideas about atheism in the afternoon. I don't think that's time specific, but whatever, it's their show, it's not my show, I do what they say. So I go out there, and instead of talking about atheism, uh, I first of all uh, call Sharon Osbourne out on something, and then I talk entirely about dropping my cock in a blow dryer, which I also talk about on Adam Carolla in detail, because that's the part of my book that is least offensive. The least offensive part of my book is dropping my cock in a blow dryer. And I'm talking about, you know, the Hardy's uh, cross hatching that I get on the tip of my dick and stuff, all on that. But the thing that I came out and they asked me to comment and what had happened on the show before. And Sharon Osbourne had done this thing uh, in the first part where she talked about this story about taking, uh, going with Ozzy to Disneyland and going on Space Mountain or something in her flume ride or something and h hitting him and breaking his rib. She tells this story. And then a little later on, they're talking the events of the day. And this is, of course, a week or two ago for you guys. But there was that case of the woman who went to Dollywood and wore a, a, a T-shirt that said marriage is so gay, I think. And the Dollywood people asked her to turn inside out. And you know, Dolly is one of the nicest people I've ever met, and funny and terrific, and also very, very pro-gay. But her, they made her turn her T-shirt inside out, which I think is really sexy. But I guess they make her go to someplace else to do that. Um, and Sharon Osbourne had said that you shouldn't take anything. Um, there should be nothing offensive at an amusement park. There should be nothing offensive, nothing controversial, nothing to think about, which is a fine point of view. But I went out and pointed out to her that she said in the same hunk of the same TV show that you shouldn't bring anything offensive to an amusement park and that she herself had brought Ozzy Osbourne to an amusement park. You said in the exact same segment that people shouldn't have controversial things at amusement parks. No. In the exact same segment that you said you brought Ozzy to an amusement park. <laughs> and I asked her, you know, did they ask you to turn your husband 
inside out. Do they ask you to turn Ozzy Osbourne inside out? Because he has a lot of tattoos. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who find Ozzy Osbourne controversial. I mean, that is part of the idea of Ozzy Osbourne since way back in Black Sabbath, right? I mean, is not offensive part of what Ozzy Osbourne does? So should you have to turn her husband inside out? So that was the joke I entered with before going into the whole um, dropping my cock in a blow dryer, which I think is my greatest story, and it is in my book, and it is also on Adam Carolla's podcast. Um, I tell it in detail and with a lot of obscenity. On the talk, I use less obscenity, but I still get this image of cross-hatching with pus on the tip of my cock. Um, and I can't tell. I can't tell if Sharon Osbourne was pissed at me or not for making a joke about Ozzy Osbourne. I mean, he's just making a joke about some people finding him offensive, but she did this whole kind of, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kick your ass thing. And then all the women on the talk jumped up on the table and kind of came at me like, we're gonna stick up for Sharon Osbourne's husband. And they were like aggressive at me. And you know, I know show business, like I've been in show business my entire adult life and part of my childhood. I mean, in a small town doing talent shows at nursing homes and stuff. But I mean, still, I've done show business. And I like to feel like I know what's going on. I, I had no idea what was going on. And afterwards, Sharon Osbourne was really nice to me, but we didn't get a chance to talk. So I wanna say, if anybody knows Sharon Osbourne, I know you know this. I, for the whole Osborne family. I was just making a joke about Ozzy having a controversial career and having a lot of tattoos, and I wanted to say, turn Ozzy Osbourne inside out, because I thought it was a really funny image. And then you came and did this stuff, and I know you were kidding. I absolutely know you were kidding. But I worry a little bit that I might have offended you. So I love the Osbourne family. I love Ozzy. <laughs> I still think it was funny, and uh, thanks for having me on the show, Sharon. I like doing the uh, the talk, and I wish we got a chance to hang out a little more, because I, I like her. Midphase has been providing simple, smart, reliable web hosting since 2003, featuring unlimited disk space and bandwidth with an exclusive discount that's six months free for Penpoint viewers. 24-7 premium support via phone, live chat, and email. Free website builder and simple installs of WordPress, Drupal, and Joomla, and $100 worth of search engine credits from Google and Yahoo. Visit www.midphase.com pen to get six free months web hosting through this exclusive PenPoint offer.